recently a lot of people on twitter are obviously complaining once again this time it is from mr beast latest video curing 1000 blind people my name is ryu and we got a lot of fucked up stories coming up next so be prepared <laughs> Mr. Beast, a legal tax evader by giving untaxed money to random people, just cured a thousand people's eye issues. Now, this is a good thing. All his attention is great. I mean, this was done for props after all. But what he has done is most definitely better than any Twitter user has ever done. But now people are calling paying for others' surgeries demonic? How dumb can you fucking be? Like this exceeds my perception of how dumb Twitter users can be while calling this shit demonic. Oh boy, I can hear the country music from this blonde side cut blasting their speaker at 7 a.m. on a school Monday. And other people are talking negatively about Mr. Beast due to him exploiting his good deeds for monetary gain. Like I get what they're saying, but let's not forget stage 3. What do they use the money with? While well, most douchebags would buy Lambos, buy material set for the adrenaline or crypto. But Mr. Beast fully spent his income on making better videos and helping with more videos. So in a way, the act is good, the intention is a little great, but the outcome is better. So in reality, it's alright. And it is Mr. Beast's hard-earned cash. He didn't just do a poverty bait and just gave some random 10k and leave. He does care for what videos he creates with his team and evaluates whether his video is good enough that deserves to be watched by his viewers and scraps hard work videos even if it means losing thousands of dollars. It is also kind of like a privilege thing since most of the people complaining are well off from any financial instability or disability. Just imagine you are in the steps of someone with damaged eye issues. Then a random YouTuber comes along with like four cameras pointed at you, but you can finally see again and have another chance at a fulfilling life. Is that fucking demonic you dumb fuck? To sum things off, if someone does something, Twitter complains and cries over it. Like a typical commentary channel, <laughs> go subscribe now. Michael, you can't beat your wife. Of course I can. I have over 5 million A Twitch streamer named Atrock exposed his no-no stuff of deepfake Pokemane and Maya Higa corn, which are other female Twitch streamers. Good work back there. The syndicate took a serious blow. What they time is it where I am? Oh, hell no, man. I think the most fucked up here is number one, his wife is in the room where it happened. Number two, inappropriate content without the permission of the person in it being used for their body. And let's be honest, AI said is just cringe. Number three, it's most likely that A to his friends or associates with them. So I expect it's going to be way awkward. Then back them, it's no A to would cry after accidentally licking the dip gates. And it is quite understandable, he isn't sure if he would get banned for that. This event staining his relationship with the two and his career in general. Now he would explain that the reason it is there was because he was watching other stuff. An ad popped up and he clicked it, redirecting him to the deepfakes. You know, I've been, I've been watching so much fucking, I've been reading so much fucking AI stuff. I'm uh, reading all this fucking stuff about AI and, and, uh, and fucking deepfake music, deepfake art and everything. And I'm in these fucking discords. And I was, ugh, it's still so embarrassing to me. But I was on fucking Pornhub, dude. I was on a fucking regular ass normal fucking website. And there was an ad. There's an ad on every fucking video for this fucking, so I know other people must be clicking it because it's on every fucking video for fucking deepfake thing. And then I click it and I'm fucking in this fucking rabbit hole. And at 2 a.m. I fucking, I, I don't know, I got morbidly curious and I click something. And I, and I, it's just fucking, it's, it's gross. And paying to see other deepfakes. Mainly he went to Pokemon and Miyahiga's deepfakes. First of all, you got a wife? Like, why you gotta do that? I mean, you, you just, I, I don't really get it really. I mean, I don't have a wife. I mean, just ask for a good time, I guess. You know, you don't really have to just pay $10 for deepfakes. Second, really man, kinda a cliche defense. But, you know, in a time of panic, it is p quite understandable that he will try to cover up with that reason. But nobody's gonna believe that said that you accidentally clicked an ad and paid ten dollars to watch some deepfakes. Now Maya Higa released a statement about this and it's a sad man. Basically Maya mentions an earlier incident from 2018 and compares it to now, saying that hundreds of men do the act watching her body without her consent and that people debating about the legality of the deepfake corn is not their debate and she is hurt about the recent incident. And I'm just gonna give some word of advice to those justifying degens 
just because you are okay with it doesn't mean everyone else is so you can see it as just some deep fake corn it's all fake anyway you know why 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 are you gonna why are you gonna fucking complain about it in Breeds? But remember that it is using the body of someone with their own personality, life, and experience and being violated for another's pleasure. So many people forget that the people we want are people themselves, not soulless perfect robots that only live to entertain people. I see you Minecraft tutor. They are people with their own needs and wants, just like you, you know, they just want to make money playing League all day. Atrox would release a tweet longer and it is pretty long and I don't wanna say everything about it. But to summarize everything in it, he is apologizing to the two he was doing the deed to, talking about the website he entered to, wants those things and calling up the people that are supporting what he did. And this got so bad, other people started being interested in this kind of deep fake content, and other streamers found out that they were on that very website Adrak was in, realizing that they are being sexualized. Including Cutie Cinderella, another Twitch streamer, which Ludwig, her boyfriend and Twitch streamer, said that she even paid thousands of dollars just so images of her won't get sexualized. And then went out to seek what this idea was. To seek deep fake porn. Not only that, a bunch of women, because this was leaked, found out they were on the website. And if you don't know, my girlfriend and many other women pay sometimes thousands, tens of thousands of dollars a month just to make sure that, like, random photos of them being sexualized are not on the internet. They, they, they pay money, which is not part of their job description, just so that it doesn't exist. Now, this is a part of the video where I make fun of the Twitch streamer for this dumb mistake or give up my opinion on the matter. But in reality, I'm just I'm just still at awe and, and speechless about this matter. I will just let this play out and let the other Twitch streamers resolve this issue themselves. Maybe sue the owner of the deepfake website or post more tweet longers. I don't... Just do whatever you want. I think this would be one of my weirdest stories covered in this channel. Just trust me. Recently, a prominent and old LGBT Roblox group, Two Colors, randomly changed direction to a Christian Roblox group, worshipping God and Jesus and all that stuff. Now, I have no problems with this religion or LGBT, but... Why the hell did this happen? I mean, in such a random time that this was changed, this obviously caused some confusion for people, and it is quite ironic since, well, a group known for their LGBT team suddenly turned Christian overnight. Vegan Empress, the owner and creator of the group, released a statement regarding this in, again, quite long, so I'll just summarize it. Basically, the group was dying around 2018, and they lost motivation regarding the group, but still wanted to keep running the group. In late 2021, Vegan found interest in CHRISTIANITY! In September 2022, Vegan gave the group's head admin to lead the group but declined to give full ownership to the head admin, making her creating another LGBT group, PRISM+. Plus. And after thinking about it for a while, Vegan decided to the direction of Two Colors into a Christian group, Two Colors in Christ. Vegan still supported their head admin by giving the original group's funds to promote the new PRISM group and putting a link redirecting to the PRISM group in the true colors description. And while this story has a quite happy ending, I think it is obvious that Vegan was quite selfish in this debacle. Why didn't you just give up on a group you aren't interested in and make another group that you are interested in? I think a set of numbers might be the reason for that. And changing the direction somewhere else without giving a heads up to the community about this change. It kinda seems like they didn't care about what their community thinks about and thinks that this change is good for everyone else. Quite selfish, huh? Just because the change you experience is good for you doesn't mean everyone else would be okay with that. But at the end of the day, it's just a Roblox group. They are wasting their time with it. And I sit back with my zero robob. Let me be clear. A Chinese TikToker was fined $18,000 for cooking a great white shark. Jin Momu or TZ in Chinese TikTok, Douyin, illegally bought a great white shark, cooked it, and ate it. All for just a TikTok. If you don't know, there are fewer than 4,000 great white sharks. While it is classified as a vulnerable species, in China it is classified as endangered. The person in the video bought the great white shark from Taobao for around $1,000 and the people related to this incident, those who captured and sold the shark, were arrested and the TikToker got fined $18,500 for, you know, cooking a great white shark according to Chinese law enforcement. 
I tried searching up for the original video, but to no avail. And the way she eats the shark is kinda... both respectable yet disgusting in a way. And remember, all of this happened just for a 4 minute TikTok. More damage shouldn't have been done in a 4 minute video. But here we are, like at least 4 people were arrested, almost $20,000 was spent, and a fucking endangered species was eaten. Luckily this mess got the piece of shit who killed and sold the shark got arrested, so take that as you will. Good news, bad news, whatever.